Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about screen magnifiers. Now, what would they be useful for? Well, if you know someone who's uh, visually impaired, got low vision or something like that, and they need to see your screen, or if you have, for example, have your grandma over or something and she can't see very well, and you want to show her parts of your screen, and you have a huge desktop resolution like I do, um, then you will need one of these pieces of software. Now first I'm going to show you some tips to get your screen bigger and um, just a couple, they're very basic and then I'll show you these pieces of software. Uh, now one of these is also useful if you're a developer and you want to find colours of things but I'll go into that in a second. So I'll begin with showing you a very basic thing of making your screen bigger with um, screen resolution, right click properties, settings and you can lower your screen resolution down so 800, 600 and that will make your screen a lot bigger. My default is at 1680 by 1050. So another option would be if you use something like uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer it also works with and you do a simple search and you'll see that, uh, that's the, uh, the default um, font size. And if you want to make it bigger you hold the control key and you can use your scroll wheel. You can see I'm making the text smaller and bigger. Holding the control down and using the scroll wheel. So that's useful if you want to ch show some people if you want to show your grandma or anybody or if you're vision impaired to um, scroll up and down to see your font, your um, text. Now if you want to go through and do uh, things like viewing windows, applications and things like that um, uh, for example I've got an MSN window here with a load of people and um, or there's one called virtual magnifying glass, these are all free to download and as you can see uh, straight away it's zoomed in. Now I can scroll out and in um, what you can't see is the, how big this window is, it just looks like a, um, see the shape of that virtual magnifying glass uh, window, basically it's the shape of that and it's just got the view in. Now there are options in the uh, bottom right uh, down here, now I can't see my cursor so that may be one disadvantage to this. Uh, basically in the bottom right you can change the options and um, other things like that and you can exit it with the escape key. Now, Z zoom is useful because it shows you a window, which is a magnifier, and as you can see, it's sort of viewing itself at the moment. But at the bottom, you'll notice it says RGB, and it has colours, and it says the zoom is three times, and it's got a hexadecimal code, which is uh, for websites. So if you're designing websites, and for example, I want to see what this grey is, or something, you can no you'll notice that the things are now changing at the top, and are saying one two one two one 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 one. So if you want to find out actual colours of things then this is useful for developers and also if you want to zoom in on any part of your screen so this is Z zoom another one is magical glass now I found this useful because you can actually zoom in full screen if I quit my magnifying glass now uh, with the options here if I right click and go to settings um, you can see it's got magical glass and it, you, you can activate it with a hotkey Alt Control and Q and uh, you'll notice that you can have magnifier size and I've set mine to full screen. So if I want to full screen show someone what's on my screen, I'll press Ctrl Q and you might not see this but it's actually on my entire monitor it's full screen the whole lot and I can now go around my window and it shows it in big uh, formats. So uh, again I think you press escape, no, uh, I think you have to right click the bottom because I can see my cursor so and then just say settings and you'll notice it's gone back to normal. You can change the zoom here and the clarity algorithm, but I've left it in normal. So I'll cancel this. Oops, gone back into it. And you'll notice that it's make, making a noise when you click it, which is also quite good. So I need to change this to not zoom in. So I'm just going to put the zoom into 1.0. Um, no, nope. <laughs> exit. There you go. Um, and obviously the last one is the wi built-in Windows Magnifier. All you have to do is go to Start, Run and type in Magnify. And you'll notice it's got a bar at the top of the screen, the whole screen here, and it magnifies it to a certain amount. It says Magnifier is intended to provide a min minimal level of functionality for users with slight visual impairments. Most users with visual impairments will need a magnification utility program with higher functionality for daily use. So that's one of these. So. That's about it really, you can change magnification levels here, 9, invert your colours if you want. Uh, that's about it really, so this may not be useful for everyone, but may be useful for people with visual impairments. Or if you want to try making websites and things, 
uh, use this Z zoom and you can use it as a colour picker. I think you can also use it as a screen grab tool. Um, other than that, thanks for watching my video. These are a couple of freeware tools. I'll provide the links in the description. Uh, if you like my videos, please comment, rate and subscribe. And thanks again.